Hello students, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss the concept of order isomorphism in PO sets. Now the first question which arises is, when are two PO sets said to be order isomorphic or when are two PO sets said to be isomorphic? Now for this we consider two PO sets P less than equal to and Q less than equal to. Now although uh, these uh, uh, two sets PO sets are different but the notation that we are using for the PO relation is uh, less than equal to. Uh, where this uh, PO relation, uh, these two PO relations might be same or they might be different, but the notation that we are using is similar. But from the context, you have to understand that this less than equal to is a PO relation on this uh, partially ordered set P, and this less than equal to is a PO relation on the partially ordered set Q. Now, when are when is the PO set uh, P said to be order isomorphic? or simply isomorphic to the set Q, the set uh, partially ordered set P is said to be order isomorphic or isomorphic to the partially ordered set Q if you can find a map psi mapping from P to Q such that uh, psi satisfies two conditions and what are those two conditions? The first condition is that psi must be an onto map and the second condition is that uh, if you pick up any pair of elements x and y in P such that x is related to y in P then their corresponding images that is psi x and psi y respectively must be related in Q and the converse of this should also be true which means that the Im if the images of uh, x and y under the map psi if they are related if these images are related then the elements elements must be related in uh, p so this must happen so uh, pictorially if you just see uh, this simply means that if you uh, draw p and q uh, by these if this is the set p and if this is the set q then psi is a map uh, you should be able to find a map psi uh, from P to Q uh, such that it should uh, if, uh, and it would be called an order isomorphism if uh, psi satisfies two conditions and the first condition is that psi is onto which means that if I pick up any y uh, over here I should be able to find some x over here in P if you pick up any y in Q then you should be able to find x in P such that psi of x must be equal to y if, uh, th the first uh, thing is that this should happen this is nothing but that uh, the condition that psi is onto and the second condition that must uh, happen is uh, pictorially it simply means this is the this is the second condition but i am just going uh, giving you the pictorial representation that the second condition which must happen is that if you uh, take any pair of elements x and y in p and if their corresponding images are uh, psi x and psi y and uh, if you have that x and y are related in P, then uh, uh, their corresponding images psi x and psi y must be related in Q. And if the images are related in Q, then the corresponding em uh, elements must be related in P. So such a thing must happen, which is nothing but condition 2. So if these two conditions happens happen, then you say that psi mapping from P to Q is an order isomorphism. And if you are able to find such a map, then... Uh, uh, the sets the partially ordered sets p and q are said to be isomorphic and in that case this is the notation that you use uh, p is isomorphic to q and psi the map psi mapping from p to q which was satisfying uh, the two conditions uh, given above these two conditions the map psi is said to be an order isomorphism so that was precisely uh, the definition of an order isomorphism and uh, this explains the concept of two partially ordered sets being order isomorphic in plain words uh, two partially ordered sets p and q uh, are said to be order isomorphic or they are said to be uh, uh, isomorphic uh, if you are able to find an isomorphism psi mapping from P to Q where by an order isomorphism we mean a map which satisfies two conditions the first condition is that of uh, psi being on to and the second condition is that elements related must uh, imply their images are related and if the images are related then the elements must be related so this is uh, something that should happen now uh, coming to a few examples related to order isomorphism let me uh, just define let me just take uh, the first example in which uh, the map which i am taking that will be an order isomorphism so i define my map psi mapping from p to q uh, like uh, uh, like this that psi uh, m is equal to m plus 1 where what is p p is uh, 0 1 2 3 and so on till n minus 1 uh, this is the set uh, uh, of n elements and p is defined like this with and this set is uh, precisely the set of first n uh, 
whole numbers and uh, q is defined to be uh, the set of first n natural numbers that is 1 2 3 and so on till n and uh, with respect to the usual less than equal to sign we can just verify that p uh, and q both are po sets because both of them uh, satisfy the three properties for uh, a set being a PO set which means uh, reflexivity, anti-symmetry and transitivity. So you can verify uh, for yourself that with respect to the usual less than equal to sign these two uh, sets uh, are PO sets and otherwise also such examples we have discussed in my earlier video lectures where uh, I discussed about partial order relations. So there uh, I have discussed everything in detail but uh, for uh, yourself also you can verify easily that reflexivity, anti-symmetry and transitivity is satisfied for these two PO sets with respect to usual less than equal to. So in the usual sense in which we understand less than equal to. Now uh, with psi defined as this psi m is equal to m plus 1 which means some Something like this is happening actually if pictorially if you just see what which element is being mapped to which element this is the set P which is the set of uh, first uh, n uh, whole numbers and this is the set Q which is the set of uh, first n natural numbers this is 0 1 2 and so on till uh, n minus 1 and this is 1 2 and so on till n so uh, every element M corresponds to or maps to it, it maps to m plus 1 which means uh, 0 maps to 0 plus 1 so 0 is mapping to 1 1 is mapping to 2 2 is mapping to 3 and so on n minus 1 is mapping to n and from this pictorial representation one can easily make out that uh, this map psi uh, is uh, 1 1 uh, and on 2 because this is how a 1 1 on 2 map looks but uh, precisely we can also prove uh, that psi is 1 1 and on 2 because if you uh, take psi x to be psi y where x and y are elements in the domain the domain is p then uh, psi x is equal to psi y implies uh, x plus 1 is equal to y plus 1 by the way we have defined psi and uh, this uh, equal to is the usual equal to sign the usual sense in which we understand equal to and 1 and 1 gets cancelled and we have x is equal to y and this shows that the map is uh, 1 1 because uh, psi x is equal to psi y implies x is equal to y so psi is 1 1 also psi is on 2 uh, because uh, for each element you can see for each element in this uh, set there is a pre-image there is a pre-image so uh, for each uh, m uh, belonging to q if you take any m belonging to q uh, if if you have p and q over here and uh, if you take any m element over uh, any element m over here then there is an element m minus 1 over here such that if you take psi of m minus 1 then psi of m minus 1 by definition uh, because uh, the image of every element is that element plus 1 so here the image of m minus 1 is going to be m minus 1 plus 1 and minus 1 and 1 get cancelled out and you have m. This means that for every m belonging to q there exists m minus 1 belonging to p such that psi of m minus 1 is m which means that psi is an onto map. Also you can verify that psi is order isomorphism because if you pick up uh, any two elements x and y over here in p. Uh, then uh, then then you can uh, in such that x is uh, related to y in p then uh, you can just see that uh, if you add one on both the sides because this less than equal to is the usual less than equal to sign so adding uh, one on both the sides i have x plus one is less than equal to y plus one but uh, this x plus one is uh, nothing but psi x and this y plus one is nothing but psi y so from this step you get this step and also all the steps are reversible uh, from the last step you can move to the first step so all the steps are reversible in the similar similar manner the only thing is that this uh, uh, these two are uh, the usual less than equal to uh, relations but this is the less than equal to in p because we are comparing elements of p and this is the less than equal to in q because we are comparing the elements of q but both of them stand for the usual less than equal to relation so this is an example uh, this this map which we have just given this particular map this is an example of a map uh, which is 1 1 which is on 2 and which is an order isomorphism so we have uh, given an example of a map uh, uh, which which is defined from uh, this particular uh, set uh, p to this particular set q uh, and it is defined as psi m is equal to m plus 1 and it this map comes out to be 1 1 on to an order isomorphism so let me take the second example now in the second example uh, let us take a map psi mapping from p to q where uh, p and q i have taken uh, uh, to be uh, 0 1 
these are the these are the only two elements in p and q and with respect to the usual less than equal to sign uh, you can just see that they are changed uh, they are they are they both are p less than equal to and q less than equal to are uh, uh, this this less than equal to is actually the usual less than equal to sign uh, and with respect to the usual less than equal to sign uh, these are not only p o sets but they are changed because uh, uh, zero is uh, uh, related to zero because zero is equal to zero one is related to one because uh, one is equal to one and uh, Uh, zero is less than one, so uh, all every element is related to the other, and uh, also uh, verifying uh, the property of uh, reflexivity. Reflexivity, of course, is satisfied here itself. Then anti-symmetry, transitivity is trivial. You can trivially see they are uh, satisfied. So these are PO sets, and uh, not only PO sets but chains, and. Uh, Uh, if you just uh, draw the map uh, like this the map uh, psi has been uh, uh, not defined over here but the map psi if you just uh, define like this that psi 0 uh, maps to 1 and psi 1 maps to 0 if you define like this which means that if i define my map like this uh, this is the this is the uh, this is the set p and this is the set q and this has 0 1 and this also has 0 1 so 0 is mapping to 1 and 1 is 0 uh, is mapping to 1 and 1 uh, is mapping to 0 so if you define your map to be like this you can see that uh, this is again a picture of a 1 1 on 2 map so this this map uh, which has been defined like this that 0 maps to this 0 and 1 these elements are coming from p so 0 is being mapped to 1 and 1 is being mapped to 0 so this is a very much a 1 1 on 2 map uh, but you can also prove uh, that uh, this is a 1 1 on 2 map although here uh, from the picture itself it is clear that uh, this is a 1 1 on 2 map because uh, uh, first of all it is on 2 because every element has a pre image the pre image of 0 is 1 and the pre image of 1 over here is 0 and uh, also uh, if you have uh, uh, that uh, psi x uh, is equal to uh, psi y where uh, psi x is equal to psi y psi x is equal to psi y where uh, x and y are elements in p then uh, there are two possibilities either uh, psi x uh, is equal to psi y Uh, will be equal to zero, or uh, psi x is equal to psi y will be equal to one because the if there are only two possible images which are possible zero and one. Now if uh, both of them are zero, psi x and psi y are both of them are zero, then uh, there is no other possibility. X and y have to be both equal to one by the way we have defined uh, psi. so there is no other possibility uh, only one is the element which maps to zero so both x and y have to be equal to one so this is uh, uh, true and uh, if you have that psi x and psi y both are one then there is no other possibility x and y both have to be equal to zero uh, by the way we have defined the map psi because uh, only zero maps to one so x and y both of uh, them have to be zero so in any case psi x is equal to psi y this always implies x is equal to y which means that psi is a 1 1 map psi is 1 1 map and as already uh, mentioned uh, before psi is on to because uh, for every element uh, over uh, here in the set q uh, there is an there is a pre image in the set p, uh, p because 0 has a pre image 1 and 1 has a pre image 0 so this is very much a 1 1 on 2 map but uh, now let me find out whether it is order isomorphism or not no it is not order an order isomorphism because uh, you can just see that 0 uh, is uh, less than 1 or you can write less than equal to 1 less than or equal to 1 but does this imply that uh, psi 0 is less than equal to psi 1 does this imply that no it doesn't imply because the value of psi 0 is 1 and psi 1 is 0 the way we have defined and 1 is not less than equal to 0 because less than e equal to is the usual less than equal to sign so 0 uh, less than equal to 1 doesn't uh, if the elements are uh, related then uh, it doesn't imply that their uh, corresponding images are also related this is not being implied uh, which means that this is not an order isomorphism so this is an example of a map uh, which is 1 uh, 1 on 2 but it fails to be an order isomorphism now uh, in fact uh, that there, there is a general result and that general result says that if you have an order isomorphism from a po set to another po set then uh, that order isomorphism is always a bijection so an order order isomorphism is always a 1 1 on 2 map so 
here you can see that uh, this in the first example uh, this particular map came out to be an order isomorphism and so it had to be a 1 1 onto map because an order isomorphism has to be a 1 1 onto map but uh, as far as uh, the converse is concerned the converse is not true that uh, if you are given a bijection uh, from a PO set P to Q then uh, it is not uh, necessary it doesn't imply that this particular map bijection is an order isomorphism this is not true and a bijection need not be an order isomorphism which is happening in the second example uh, you had uh, the map psi uh, which was uh, defined like this psi 0 is equal to 1 and psi 1 is equal to 0 so uh, this this map was uh, 1 1 and on 2 so it is it was a bijection but it did not come out to be an order isomorphism so uh, in plain result in plain words you have uh, that an order isomorphism is a bijection but converse need not be true so that was a short video lecture giving you an introduction of our order isomorphism in po sets